Welcome to In-Depth Analysis. The demand for the release of Funam Dekano has popped up again. But the big question here is, what about the previous demands? The previous demands seeking political solutions. Have they been falling on deaf ears? This is not fair because the Southeast is burning. Right now, they can't even differentiate between the agitators and the criminal elements. Because why? Both the criminal elements and the agitators are demanding for the release of Nam Khan. Because even the state government has been losing so much amount of money, running into trillions. Every Monday, sit at home. Come on. But something popped up during the night of tribute of the late Senator and, uh, Ifan Yoba. Maybe you guys should pay a listen. Where the demand for the release of Nam Dekano popped up again. But this time it came up in a dramatic form. But I, I, I also think the, mes the message will be conveyed because there was a response. But first of all, I would like you guys to listen to the demand before we listen to the response. The demand came from uh, Senator Rocha Sokoracha. Listen to the demand. I want to say to you, my brother, a human workplace, Senate President, convey this one message on behalf of these Hebrews who are seated, that the best way to honor this great young man is the release of Nam Dekano. So the Hebrews can go home and reorganize their place. And I know you, Senator Babio, that even if you don't want to do it, send this message. For the sake of your wife, who is our daughter, send this message and get us a result. Or else, your wife is not too far from taking back home. Now, that was from Rocha Sokroja. Then, obviously, uh, the Senate president, that's Goswil, uh, Senator Goswila Abiu, he responded. But if I play uh, Abiu's response, if you could recall, the first aviation minister, the first Nigerian aviation minister, also made the, this demand. As a matter of, he made this demand in his 90s, pleading with Buari at the time that he should grant this wish, this is last wish for him, before he joins his ancestors. But it was quite unfortunate, Buari did not. The late former governor of Old Anambra State also made the same demand, spoke to us the same line. That's uh, Chief Chukwemeke Isife made the same plea nothing happened also uh the late chief emmanuel iwanyang the last uh, the previous president general of ohanes and dibu made the same demand fell on deaf, deaf ears it's quite unfortunate even if anyoba spoke towards that line but no response until he also joined his ancestors. Wow. I think it's time for the presidency to start looking towards this direction of political solution. At least to assuage this man that has joined their ancestors. I think from wherever they are, they will be happy that this request is granted. Meanwhile, let's listen to Abio's response. Let's listen to what he ha has to say. All the threats notwithstanding, and I'm saying that because even my dear wife, one of you, I don't take the threat light, light, lightly. Somebody said, if I don't, uh, is, is it uh, Rochas? Rochas, uh, my people, my people, that said, if I don't take the message to the federal government to do one or two things, that it will come for my wife. I got scared. <laughs> because I know I'm standing here, all the strength I have is because of the prayers of my wife. I don't know. So I want to plead with uh, Rochas. I will come to your house personally to inform you after I've delivered the message to the federal government. So please don't contemplate with withdrawing your daughter from my house. So you heard him. That was a brilliant response, though. But the truth is, President Tinibu, please look towards this line to bring about peace and reconciliation and harmony. 
save lives. Thank you, my dear president.